Yeah, now we're going to start. If I could change the colors, I'd change them to purple and yellow. That'd be nice, forever. Yeah, forever. All right. So we were playing Daybreakers, Daybreaker all along. <laughs> well, um, yeah, okay, so I accidentally made the wrong map. Um, that was interesting. Gonna be able to create game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they should just make it create by default. Yeah, they you know should, I mean? they should. Like, otherwise, I don't know anyone that would kind of do this. Yeah, except for, like, scrubs that just want to play random people in custom games. Yeah, yeah, I don't know those people, though. Like, yeah. I accidentally played one and I was playing Terran and I just three racks the guy. He was really upset. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was bad. I bad. thought he was playing. Okay. Alright. Alright, so the game's about to get started. GLHF, called by Az. Wow, very mannered. Very mannered. He's very man, very playing mannered today. Yeah. If he loses, I'm wondering if he's going to be another grudge match. Ooh, maybe. I hope so. That'd, Az. that'd be fun. Mm. That would just make it feel like it, oh, he's got a. Vendetta against alt members. Yeah. Yeah. Very possibly. Has he tried to grudge match you? As? No, uh, nah, we've always been pretty cool, I think. He yeah. was he was uh, a lot more of a threat towards the start of Wings of Liberty, like yep, yep. during the beta and stuff, but since then he kind of dropped off a lot. Alright, so we're using a new UI today, first yeah, thought I'd mention. Looks really good. Let's introduce the players. The bottom left hand corner we have the green Protoss. It is as. E T L as. And top right hand corner we have the purple Zerg. He is. Game paused. The paused. game paused. Yeah, the game's paused right Jim now. Jim Diddy. Jim Diddy. Oh. As you can see, we've got a new overlay. Yeah, it looks really cool, man. It's the uh, sort of the similar to the stuff we're seeing in GSL these days. Yeah, yeah. The, um, Blizzard did give us the courtesy of sending us one of their new UIs yeah, to have a play with. God bless. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Shout out to Blizzard for that. We've got Daybreak. It even tells you the map. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like that. I really yeah. like that. So it, it helps newer players that wouldn't really know what the maps are called, or like yeah. people that are spectating kind of Dude, what like Casper stuff. I'm still like having trouble like on um like pro league games, especially. I'm like, what the hell map is this? What is it called? You know, it takes so long to find out. I just like doing this, so I might do this until like yeah, stuff. Man. Until stuff people happens. start complaining. Oh, what is this? Dirty, dirty ass. He's going to be doing two gates. Yeah, he is definitely starting himself with a cheese. And the interesting thing is, he's doing it so far away. Um, yeah. Usually, you, they'll do it in the in the main or in the like natural. Yeah. yeah, but um, like exactly there. Yep, yep. Uh, doing it here, uh, less advised. Okay, gives Zerg okay. more time to just simply. Zergling and yep. spine crawler. I remember when I tried to two get you, it's still set. Still yeah. hard. Yeah, man, I'm I'm well versed <laughs> against it's the old uh, proxy two gate. Oh, oh maybe just a one, one gate. gate. But why just one gate? I guess he's just doing this some econ harass while he drew, uh, probes up. Well, uh, the probe. I've seen this before. Yeah, Close. it could go into like a um, like a fast stalker or something like that, like MC yeah. style. See, and it's further enough away that like Zerglings won't kill it too quick. Yeah, yeah. So it has a chance of. Getting that stalker out in time. Uh, it's not a bad idea, especially if Jim's going for super greedy. It's like a 15 pool, 16 hatch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, standard, very standard. If he drones too hard and doesn't save any larvae, you well, could... He uh, sends both the overwards over as well, not, mm. not to the net. Yeah, yeah. There's a pylon block here, so he's kind of convincing him that he's going for like this uh, forge fast expand. Yeah, exactly. Oh, did the drone scout that? The drone scouted that. Oh, he scouted it? Yeah, he knows. Ooh. But now he's wasted 100 minerals here. So what happens here? Well, from here I'm sure Jim Diddy's going to pull his larvae, get enough Zerglings out to defend a, a one-gate harass while getting Zergling speed, which is probably the best counter at all. Yep. And, and got Az going, putting his... He can actually go into to some Zergling pressure. Holy crap, that was a lot of drones on gas. Yeah, there's five on gas. He's trying to mine he that really, extra efficient. He really, really wants that gas, man. He's overkeen on that gas, though. Overkeen is a yep. good word. Yeah. I'm oh, he's getting a Roach Warren. Well, is this how you would defend a, an attack like this, or would you rather um, speedlings? I would probably do speedlings. Roach, yep. Roaching is probably a little more all-in, but it's yep. probably a good idea. But I mean, th it's a good chance Protoss is going to see this, and he's going to cannon up. Yep. So uh, the roaches won't be too effective. But right. we'll see what see what Az does. So Here's remember, guys, the production's in the bottom left-hand corner, which is kind of weird, because my eyes are trained to look up in the top left-hand corner. Yeah, it's yeah. different, but it's it's more clear, I feel. As yeah. long as you get used to the to where to look. Well, the supplies are very big in the top right-hand corner. Ooh, I don't know about this. Oh, it's, it's, it's a cannon rush into it. This is kind of a weird, weird build. Very, very strange. Uh, like, this could be 
could be a really bad thing actually. Um, well, we see this engagement. It's, if he micros it correctly, he could get a few Zergling kills, but I don't know if he gets that cannon down. Yeah, he might be able to just get it down, but yep. uh, if roaches are coming out after this, then it could yeah. be in the end. So there's five roaches in production tab. He's going to have two cannons to defend these roaches. He's definitely getting his queen, though. Second yeah. cannon's just about to go up. First cannon will finish. It's not going to have full health, though. The roaches are going to push down well before the second cannon's due. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, this is definitely a bad situation for the as to the end. He pretty much just cancels it straight up. Yeah, and so we're going to see probably a wall off three cannons back at home while his nexus goes up. Yeah, if uh, Jim gives yep. him enough time, these zelts are going around the back way. Might actually do some econ damage. Oh, yeah, no, good. the two two roaches are there to just meet and greet these guys. Mm. We see uh, the nexus going down for ETL as we've got uh, the forge. Gate, Sibcor, he's he's gearing for a macro game now, but is he too far behind? Um, well, I guess it really depends on if uh, Jim lets these cannons go up. It's right, it's not necessary to kill this uh, this gateway now. He could be really going to have his base uh, if he's really planning to do some harassment. Yeah. One cannon isn't going to stop him. But it looks like Jim wants to be a bit defensive. Yeah, Jim wants to play this. He wants to play this a solid macro game. Or maybe he's just. He's trying to convince them that there's one base all in, but he's going to try and get an economy behind it. The problem I have with this is the Nexus is going to be done way yeah. before that hatch is done. Completely. So it's two base versus one base. It should really be a, uh, a sentry building or something by now. Yeah, yeah. He I has, well, looks for two gases, and uh, he does have a core. Well, if we have a look at the income tab, which is something that this UI in particular sorely lacks, um, <laughs> we can't see how much, how many minerals they have. Oh, this is annoying. I can't click on it. Yes, yeah, so I actually don't know with this UI how to get that <laughs> how to get that up. But he's got four cannons now. He is yeah, totally. Yeah, this guy's golden. He's, he doesn't yep. even need to spend any gas. And now it's what two like a one base Zerg to a two base Protoss. Yeah. He's just gonna hit the macro hard. We have a look on the harvesters count. We've got 18 to 29. Um, so. As is ahead economically as well. Big time, big time. See, this is the problem with going Roach. Uh, yeah. it's, it's such an investment. And unless you're going to kill with it, looks like he really wants to try and kill with it, but four cannons says not a chance. Yeah, four cannons and Mothership Core, there is actually just no way that this happens. Yeah, and it looks like a sentry's going to get out in time too. Maybe. Oh, yeah, oh, just. 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 Does it get sniped though? Oh. oh, it doesn't get sniped. These Roaches just get knocked back. This is... This is man. really bad for Jim Diddy. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's kind of game ending if Az manages this and just goes full gas and masses void rays. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to win. <laughs> oh, that's probably the easiest way to win his Protoss right now. Just E. Yeah. Just, okay, so he's got his natural down, uh, his third down, and he's just making lings. But he can't just keep throwing lings at, what, five cannons? Yeah, this is kind of looking a little bit hopeless now. He's continuing to just yep. throw lings against this Six wall cannons. of cannons, man. And a sentry. So, and a mothership core. Even though the mothership core is on the other side of the map now. Uh, yeah, he's going to do recall back. light harass. Yeah. Actually, no, it can't, it can't do anything. It's probably just going to drop a time warp in that mineral line. Which That'd is be dirty. It'd be dirty, but it'd also be very smart, because he's only mining efficiently from one base. Yeah, absolutely. Um... So he's just going to keep making units and throw units at Az and, hope, and mm. hopefully Az just dies, but I don't Crazy. think this is actually going to happen. Ooh, some banelings, but uh, even banelings at this no. point. I think that wall's too thick. Way too thick. You need like probably like 12 banelings just to get through the cannons into like possible mineral line, but... Uh, he, could, he could try for like a main run and destroy this main. Yeah, but now whoop. <laughs> Warp gates are done, he's gonna warp in more, more centuries. centuries. Yep. He has actually no trouble here whatsoever. Yeah, there's there's like pretty much no threat of as actually dying if he places yeah, correctly. It's actually hundred percent win. Yep. GG. GG. ETL as takes first game. GG. Oh look look cool. we both look really tired. Yeah, actually Whoa. Hold on. Oh it's dark. Hmm. Blackout. I like it dark. So what yeah. are we gonna do now it's dark? We're gonna Continue to cast. We're gonna. F do you have any games? Oh. Um, I should do, but no one's replying to me, man. All right, I'm gonna try and find a game for you. I appreciate. Oh, that. I actually said any games to Andy. We played know. asterisks. I do oh. look tired, don't I? Oh, I cool. feel look, tired today. Look at look at the bags under my eyes right now. I woke up because mozzies were biting me. Yeah. Sucks, man. 
Man, I woke up because I went out last night. I should probably shouldn't have gone out. You, got, you went out and got drunk? I didn't get drunk. I just stayed up late. You know? Stayed up late? Yeah, I did. Yeah. With your girlfriend? No. No? No, of course not. Don't be naughty. No, my girlfriend. Are you kidding? Ew, girls are gross. <laughs> They're uh, disgusting. All You're right, gross. Alright, mate. Alright, all right, so we... Um, I have to PM Jim Diddy and ask for another game. Um, what's the map? I should probably chat to him, so actually. So you, you just have to veto uh, until there's one map? Is that how it uh, works? They, they just decided on Belshire. Uh, you mean Daybreak? Oh, uh, Daybreak, so... Um, Interesting. So these guys have, like, two map choice. They have... You pick. You pick. Uh, Is it best of three? Uh, yeah, it's best of three. So oh, okay. he's got Newkirk and Belshia. Um, so we've got two maps left. We've got Newkirk, Belshia. I like how like basically none of us shaved today. Dude, why would I shave this? Look at it. Yeah, that's true. He looks like the Jesus Zerg. Jesus Zerg, the man. Messiah Zerg. <laughs> Is it, no, you're already a Prince of Persia Zerg. You can't have two nicknames. I can't. Yeah. I can just collect them all. and you know, have a yeah. bunch of them. So it's our new Kirk. That's the map we're going to be playing on. So I will um, create that game. It's going to be New Kirk Ellie. New um, Kirk Ellie. Where is that? Um, no just one. go to browse. All that. You know. It takes so long. Melee. Yep. New Kirk Precinct. Yeah, I think that's the game. I'll create the game and sort of, and then more, and then invite to game. It should be fun. So, how do you think you're going to do today? Um, I think I'll do pretty well. Yeah? We have some good players here um, with Az, Jim Diddy, and NXZ. All, all very good players. Um, yeah, I can agree with that. Should be entertaining at the very least. He's declined my lobby invitation. Bad manner. He's probably watching the replay or something. Enjoying it. Well, what do you think, he, what do you think Jim Diddy did wrong in that game? Um, then we can talk about what Az did right. Went for Roach, pretty much. Yeah. I think that was a big mistake. Yeah. Uh, well, if he did go for Roach, he really had to just push as fast as possible. Ignore those three Zards. Ignore the gateway. Ignore yeah. that cannon. And just go straight for his natural. Because it took a while for Az to get those cannons up. He invested a lot in the uh, the offense. And Jim did.